Today's video focuses on some key basic tips on how to control the bowlers so that they go exactly where you want them to. I'm your host Judo Sloth, make sure to go ahead and subscribe for all of my Clash of Clans content, but as you have seen on the channel, I've been having brilliant success with the bow witch method in recent weeks and I wanted to reel things back a little bit and just focus on how to path them through the base exactly in today's video. I'm first going to break down my most recent 3 star attack which I did literally an hour ago, then I will show you a couple of other Town Hall 11 3 stars we had from this war as well as a Town Hall 10 later on in the video. But diving into my attack then I can tell you exactly why I chose this base and how I passed the bowlers through it. So one of the reasons I chose this base is because I could easily access both Inferno Towers and the Eagle Artillery. That's key guys, but how are we going to path the bowlers onto them especially? So what I first thought was that two jump spells will provide access right the way to both of these. However, you can see the first Inferno that I'm going to hit, the Multi, is a little bit trickier to jump across to. It's not that tricky. Basically, I just have to wall break this wall and I can use a jump spell right in this region. Now, I want to make sure that my bowlers go from the Inferno tower to the eagle artillery so some key things here guys is to make sure you do not open the compartment here with the clan castle you want to make sure that your bowlers go from the inferno tower to the eagle artillery and to the next inferno tower so i can use a jump spell like we said here making sure not to open the middle compartment the bowlers will then move from the multi inferno through to this compartment then we can use the next jump over in this region in order to access the single inferno now we need to make sure that the bowlers actually go in there there'd be no point in having them jumps in place if the bowlers went around the outside of the base all i'm going to do is put some witches and bowlers on the outside in order to take out some of these buildings now i know that they're going to take quite heavy fire early on especially with the wizard tower here but the bowlers are coming in this direction as well so they will kind of cover for them a little bit i'm not too worried about that meanwhile on the other side there's a lot of point defense that the queen can get value from so i want her to walk down that side of the base in order to match up with the bowlers and help out towards the end of the raid so enough talking guys let's show you it in action so initially i start out with the bowlers and witches on this side now that's basically because i want the funnel to be created down here nice and early so that i can get my bowlers in the queen isn't going to take too long in, t in order to get that funnel created as you can see she's already gone ahead and done that now i do bring a golem in because it's a multi inferno i am attacking and basically my general rule of thumb if you're attacking a multi inferno take a golem they're not susceptible to spring traps anything like that if it's a single take them giants guys now what i do is spread the bowlers right the way across the back here with the witches and that creates a natural funnel it takes out all of these buildings so that they'll then be drawn into the jump spell once i place it in so i hold on to that jump spell just a second while them buildings go down and i want to make sure i wall break in this first compartment i need to make sure that goes down so i actually use a rage spell to help get them bowlers raged up initially you've seen on my channel a bunch of times when you've got a lot of bowlers you can get a lot more value the jump spell is in it gets a little bit crazy but honestly guys it's not too bad get that poison spell on the cc troops as long as you know what's in there in my second attack i believe i got an 89 percent two star not quite the three but i did have to lure the cc and adapt this strategy a little bit so the poison spell is able to take them troops down you can use the rage and the heal and then you can see that next jump spell providing access to the single inferno and you want to basically weigh up the base this is a specific strategy for this layout or this style of layout where you can jump through the base like that but i am going to uh, discuss some key principles as well now the queen over here decided not to follow my plan amazingly she doesn't go for these buildings here decides to come through for the expo and because of that 
ends up going down so I get a little bit fortunate guys really if the queen had have continued to walk around the base this would have been no problem I would have had a lot of bowlers and witches still alive at this point that just had to loop back towards these defenses and the queen would have easily taken these buildings out with the healers on her however plan went a little bit awry did still get the three star fortunately but I mainly want to focus this video on the pathing of the bowlers so do take note I have um, other examples just talking about the initial funnel but really think about the pathing of your bowlers through the base especially in terms of them jump spells don't just access the most compartments remember the bowlers work best when they're in a huge group you don't actually want them to split off too much they lose their value it depends on the base layout I shouldn't necessarily say that because if there's um, you know defenses on the outside of the base that the bowlers can get in and sort of take them separately then it can be beneficial and you will see that now i wanted to use this example by kingslayer again massive three star should have gave my clan a quick shout out we'll do that after this attack but basically this is the whole premise in terms of funneling that i try to get across to you guys outside in as long as you work from the outside in you can keep the funnel very basic now what i mean by that is once the troops are down here i'll kind of show you exactly what i mean but all of these buildings on the outside we basically need the troops to come into the middle the jump spell is already there in place if we get the troops into the middle we've got access right the way around the base this base is done however if they go around the outside of the base then it's a bit more tricky so you can see if we attack these buildings first let's take this elixir collector for example the bowlers would then be drawn right the way around here to this next building and all the way around the base so they go the wrong way if you start from the outside you can see the opposite happens they're drawing in over and then that jump spell is there waiting for them i know that's basic stuff guys but this is what i want to focus on in this video just the basics of pathing your bowlers not kind of getting heavy into base layouts and you know the specifics of your strategy the bowler and witch combination is brilliant guys we're having great success with it we have people that can adapt to base layouts as well like this type of base layout would not be my favorable base the ones that i was discussing before is but as you can see kingslayer is going to go ahead and smash this base but i did want to use that example in terms of just getting the bowlers into the base because a lot of times you do see attacks that are failed because the bowlers basically haven't gone into the base and that's it if you if you miss that initial funnel the attack is over guys you can't really correct it you can try and put jump spells in around the base itself but you've got to kind of get ahead of the bowlers and break that funnel further round now the town hall 10 example we're going to show you does kind of give you a bit of an example on that but let's show you the next one now what elf does here he creates the funnel not with the bowlers so in that previous attack we used bowlers on either side and they merged together in the middle you don't necessarily have to do that that as you saw on my attack I sent armies around the outside what the elf likes to do and again three star beast you did see him three star live on my video a couple of days ago he actually comes in from the west of the base with a queen charge has the grand warden there as well and he gets the enemy queen which is massive guys but just check out the value and the funnel that is created again bowlers and witches on one side it, a couple of buildings is all what is required to send the bowlers in and get that jump spell in early you can also feel this by not getting that jump spell in as long as the funnel is created get that jump spell in if it's not in in time the bowlers can walk now look at this huge group there's no way for them to go other than exactly where he wants them to into the base one thing i forgot to mention as well you can see the level 7 pecker he is in there somewhere guys trust me he's fantastic or she is fantastic to tank for the eagle artillery you might be able to see you probably can't at this point the uh but basically the pecker can tank for the eagle artillery and save the fire from your bowlers and that can be very very helpful guys so sometimes merge a pecker in there if you're making a queen walk and then your bowlers are coming in the pecker initially ahead of the bowlers can just take out the fire of that eagle artillery 
So again, you can see actually the peckers are what come down to it in the end of this raid, but starting out the funnel on one side with the queen walk, just a couple of troops on this side was enough to then get the main army straight through and into the middle of the base. Let's show you one more Town Hall 10 example before we wrap up this video. So we have Mr. Flip here doing a very similar strategy, but I just want you to take note of a couple of variations in terms of how he breaks the funnel. Again, you don't have to do this in terms of bowlers and witches. You can use baby dragons, you can use wizards, you'll see that in this example. He's going to use a queen walk, so he's sending his queen around the top half. A sacrificial wizard there, able to get that army camp. That is a massive amount of space. There's no way the queen is going to be drawn down to that dark elixir spell factory. What, it, what did I just say? Wow. <laughs> Dark Spell Factory. Anyway, Queen is going to take out the King and from this point she's going to continue to walk around. But again, it's not just creating the funnel, it's thinking about what are the bowlers going to hit when they get inside the base. Where do you have to concentrate your fire? Now for Mr. Flip, at Town Hall 10 especially, it is them Inferno Towers, so he's actually bringing the bowlers in in a way where they can directly target the Infernos. Some of the other defences you can kind of prioritise out a little bit um, because the Inferno Towers are the main thing. So you can see two jump spells as well are going to control the bowlers straight forward, almost in a beeline from one Inferno Tower to the next. They do split a little bit because he was a bit delayed on the Clan Castle, but the actual premise of the attack is done. You know, Inferno Towers are down, we've set that funnel, and this is one of them situations again where it can be quite good that the bowlers split up. Again, when I do my attack, you saw in the first one, I send an army around the outside and a separate group through the middle. They kind of have different roles, but that is, in a nutshell, some of the basics of the Bow Witch and controlling the bowlers. Let me know if I missed any kind of key tips in terms of funneling for the bowlers, but that wraps it up for this one. I've been your host, Judo Sloth, and until next time, peace out, guys.